today we're talking about living abroad. Now, um, I lived in Indonesia for about two and a half to three years. I left in September 2013, age 23, came home, came back here uh, on the eve of Brexit in 2016. And that was, I think, June the 20th, 2016. Um, and you have? So I was born in this country, but my family's originally from Jamaica. So when I was about four years old, I moved to um, Jamaica for about two years. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. How'd you find it? So I went from nursery in this school. Just you know that that period with just before you go into um uh, to primary school. Yeah, you mean the one where you learn to play with colours and yeah, yeah. so an everyday dinosaur day yeah. dress up and stuff, yeah. So I went from that period and then went straight into school in Jamaica. That's cool. Yeah. It's yeah. interesting because I guess my experience is a lot different from yours. Yours, like you have made an active decision to move to a different country. Yeah, I was running for my problems. Yeah. Me, it was just, I was just dragged along. I knew what was happening. I was well aware, but um, yeah, I had no choice in the matter, really. So I just oh. had to do it. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of similar because when I was little, I also had a similar thing where yeah. I was uh, taken to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia as well. A lot of Asian time, but I mean, that's a bit different. Um, yeah, I forgot about that. That was a year and a half, <laughs> and that was the best part of my childhood. I yeah. don't know about you, but how did you find the comparison? Compared to here, I'm, um, to be honest, I did really miss England. It's, um, you know what? I always think back to like the Power Rangers. Power Rangers was my favorite show, and um, I just used to love that in this country. And then, what did you uh, make in Power Rangers like? Also, it's the same. So, oh. we have a lot of American programming. But my point was, is um, you you have your routine in this country, watching your English programs and all that, and then watching um Power Rangers and everything, and then going to Jamaica. I'm like, where, where is Power Rangers? I don't know what time it comes. <laughs> in my um, I think my grandmother found it for me Aww. out there and I was just like, it was just like a bit of home. Obviously, yeah. obviously um, it's, it's an American show, but it's like, if also I watched it over here and it felt like, it felt like a bit of home over there. It is weird yeah. what the little things are that, I don't yeah. know about you, but in when I was living in Endo, um, we, you, everyone in our house, and we're all from different places, we all had a flag. Yeah. Um, you know, like I used to hang a British flag in my room, which over here sounds quite nationalistic, but... Mm. Um, out there it was just like a, it's that little reminder of home because it still had the dirt from mm. my because um, I, I still had the dirt on it from from home which sounds a bit weird and I didn't drag it through the dirt or anything so you know if there's any flag fanatics <laughs> don't get weird um, but it's just you know like when you know it's a bit of wear and tear and stuff and um, yeah I, I mean that kind of brings the first point I actually wrote down it's just like that feeling because you know how like you're always going to be an Englishman in New York yeah. so to speak <laughs> I found that quite weird um, like little things like I used to get I used to have this little pot of Marmite and I used to carry a fiver, right. like just cause it had, you know, like the queen's face on it or something like that. And it's just those little tiny things right. I used to keep with me um, at all times. And it was just weirdly precious. Cause yeah. like when you back, having been back here, if someone was to say, oh, I've got Marmite in the fridge, I wouldn't be like, ah! <laughs> you know, but out there it's like, you got yeah. what now? It's funny cause you have to make adjustment, adjustments to the different foods. Mm. And also my family's Jamaica, so we eat Jamaican food over here anyway. But I mean, there's that certain stuff that I would, I would eat over here. Like I remember used to like Ovaltine, like hot chocolate. Yeah, I love that I used shit. to love that back when I was yeah. a kid. And I'm, I remember when I moved to Jamaica, I ended, I ended up, um, I was like, I asked my grandma, wait, wait, uh, can I get some Ovaltine? And they're like, we don't have that over here. Did you have like, um, did and you have Nilo? Huh? Milo. Milo. Milo, yeah. Yes, yeah. Milo. In yeah. Endo, it was yeah. Milo. Yeah. Oh, they called it Milo. Yeah, yeah, Milo. Yeah. Yeah, we call it, yeah. yeah, we called it Milo over there. So, they're like, my grandma's like, we got Milo. And um, I don't, don't, don't kill me Jamaican, but yeah. To me, it wasn't as good. It's not the same. Yeah, yeah. It's not the same. It's like, yeah. it's like chocolate. It's like Cadbury's yeah. is chocolate. That's yeah. what we're brought up with. Yeah. And it's like, and you're out there, it's like, do you want some Hershey's? No, I don't fucking want Hershey's. <laughs> and, like, and also, like, the Galaxy, Alex, yeah. it's like 30 degrees all the time. Like, I think they put something a bit different in the chocolate. And so also the Coca-Cola as well. Yeah. yeah, that used to get you through the day. Jesus Christ, I think they left the cocaine in there. <laughs> I was like, I was like, glass of that. And I was like, yeah. let's go. You know? Like, yeah, it's great. Here, it's like, Coke Zero? What the yeah. fuck? My wife, my wife loves Milo. She used to have it all the time just over here. She loved the Milo. Hmm. But to me, it was like, it's good. But to me, it was like compared to um, Overteen. Hmm. which they're probably going to kill me for. Um, I liked, I just liked it better. I just got used to it. And it was just getting used to different changes. I used to love my English programs over here. I can't hmm. even remember the names of them, like Noddy and all these. Oh, I love it. Yeah. yeah. Different shows that um that are uh, English. Yeah. And you can't get out there anymore. I mean, yeah, did you go over there specifically to watch TV or did you do other no, stuff? Obviously, I went to school. I went, I just had, I lived a normal life out there. But mm. it's just, that, that's the basis you, you're used to as a kid. Yeah. Like, as an adult, I'd be like, okay, I'm not going to get this 
uh, you prepare yourself mentally for it. But as a kid, you're like, oh, I want this, and they're like, no, we don't have that. Yeah, and yeah. like you got, and it's like it's weird. You, you, it's just, like, you just don't understand it. Yeah, kid. and when you're sitting there and they're like, it's gonna, we're gonna be here for a year, and yeah. like for me now, that's like fuck yeah, let's go. Yeah. Um, because a year is a very short time, but when you when you've only had five or six years in yeah. your life, you're like, that's a sixth of my life. Yeah, but it's it was, a long time. But like it's different. Like you knew you was going for a short period of time. I wasn't. No, like, I didn't. Oh, you didn't. Okay. No, I didn't know how long I'd be yeah. out there when I was a kid or oh. when I was older. When I was older, I went. I thought I was gonna be there for a year, and I ended but, up staying up for three because right. I fell in love. Uh, so story like, of my life. In my situation, it was a permanent move. I wasn't supposed to come back to this country. Oh shit! Yeah, I wasn't supposed to come back to England. That's hard. Yeah. So That's really like, hard. my mom shipped everything we owned. Wow. And we moved everything to Jamaica. Why'd you move back? Um, basically, uh, I basically she, the plan was that she was just going just to go into business out in Jamaica and everything. Mm. So in the meantime, we ended up living with my grandparents. They had a little bit of falling out. Uh, and um, yeah, my mom decided, you know, we're coming back. <laughs> To England I'm so stubborn after two years after two years like no fuck yeah. it I can't deal with mum and dad this is the most YouTube thing we're ever going to do yeah we hope you enjoyed our video please do like and subscribe 